Hi, 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 Thomas. Hi, uh, Hume. Hi. Yeah. So, okay. Uh, so the the Scots trial. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so uh, my first question would be, yeah, it was my wife who brought me to the first show. Uh, oh. Yeah. And the second one, uh, kind of misread the title. I thought I saw Scotch so whiskey. I thought that's something <laughs> something that I could identify with. You know. Right. Right. So. What I'm wondering is, uh, you can, it's obvious that the show is geared towards young adults as mm -hmm. compared to uh, shows like Hunger Games. Okay. So what would you feel is the, the hook for a not so young adult? I mean, mm. yeah, for example, like yourself and me, I'm right, like 34. Right, right. Yeah. I think just thinking that the movie is called Scotch Trials will help. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, that's uh, enough. Yeah. That's, that's another reason. That's enough to watch the movie. Just enjoy <laughs> a nice glass of scotch <laughs> while enjoying the Scorch Trials. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I think... Uh, uh, a lot of people are interested in using their imaginations to think like what would happen in a post-apocalyptic world. You know, what, what kind of world is that? And this movie is such a visual spectacle. You know, West Ball has done an excellent job of, of creating a visual world where it's so, it's, it's just shot beautifully. And so um, if you're a fan of uh, a cinema, of films, and I think uh, of, of good story and of, of a great action adventure film, I think you'll love, you'll love this film. Yeah. And I did, yeah. And enjoy a nice glass, glass of scotch. scotch. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay, so, uh, yeah, next question. Um, it's quite evident that there's a, quite a uh, let's see, crafted uh, ethnic mix in the, in the movie, in the group, yeah. right? Uh, I mean, for example, uh, Apley was uh, changed, I mean, his ethnicity was changed from the movie, uh, from the book into the movie. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, do you think that there's a danger for yourself? Uh, I mean, you can jump in to, to help as well. Uh, that might be typecasted as uh, that the token Asian, and if in that in, in that in consideration, do you think that maybe you feel like a torchbearer for the minorities mm. in Hollywood? Hmm. Well, I don't. I definitely don't feel like a token Asian. I feel yeah. like this this character was created because James Dashner, the author, has a niece whose husband is Korean, mm -hmm. and he wanted to bring in uh, that element to the book and to the character. So his name is is Minho in real life, and so I got to play him. Um, I definitely feel uh, a responsibility to, uh, to be able to portray Asian Americans in a positive way with positive roles like Mino, because Mino is such a cool, athletic, masculine character. So, um, yeah, I definitely feel like uh, there's a responsibility there on my part. But, um, no, I, I, th I think it's a great opportunity, and I'm, I'm grateful that uh, James Dashner created this character. And, and I think it's great that our, our cast is multi-ethnic, and I think yeah. that... That's what makes our film accessible mm -hmm. to to a va vast ar array of fans because there's something that they can latch onto. Yeah. So, I mean, it behooves any story to to include the diverse cast just because uh, in this world there's not just one person you know uh, yeah. that looks like you. There's there's many people that you know. There's many different people in the world. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. Okay. So uh, yeah, Thomas. Yeah. Uh, so how's it feel to to work with uh, your Game of Thrones uh, co-star in mm -hmm. uh, I mean or Aiden yes, so how's that feel? Does it feel a bit weird? It's like hey, which show am I in now? No, not yeah. at all. I mean, I'd never. I think I'd met him once on Game of Thrones because mm. we have such a big. I think we have the biggest cast in yeah. television. Wow. Okay. I think maybe even in television history. I'm not sure. Anyway, it's a big cast. Um, you know, not all of us get to meet each other or hang out with each other. So I think I've met Aiden once when I was going in first thing in the morning to get my makeup put on. He had just wrapped on a night shoot and so he was getting his makeup taken off. And so we were both in a kind of state of kind of like zombie, kind of tired. And we just kind of went, oh, hi, hey, I'm Thomas. That was it. So I mean, it was actually really nice to, to get to meet him properly, get to know him, chat to him and stuff. And and the same with, uh, with Natalie as well. You know, I'd, I'd met her once at a New York premiere for Game of Thrones, I think. Mm. Uh, just because our, our, our characters never never cross lines, so mm. um, yeah, there were a couple of Game of Thrones guys for this for this movie, but I I didn't know. Yeah, I won't talk this movie, I guess. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Uh, so well, both of you. So which character would you like to play other than the one that you were casted for, and just for the hell of it? I mean, Catherine's also in the bag. I mean, the as what? in oh sorry, Theresa's also in the bag. For example, which character would you like to play? Anyone. Yeah. You could play Cap. Uh, you could play Theresa. I, I I say this all the time. I would love to play Newt because uh, mm -hmm. when I first read the script and I, when I first read the books, I thought Newt was the cool coolest character. I thought uh, he was a great leader, mm -hmm. and um, yeah, I would love to play him. I've said it before as well. I'd quite like to play Minho. 
I think mm. he's cool. Uh, he's, he's sassy. Sassy. Uh, he gets little one-liners. Uh, he gets to do all the cool stuff. He gets to do the action stuff and all the running and stuff. And he's just a, he's just a cool dude. Yeah. Um, I think it'd be fun. It'd be fun to play him. Yeah, sure. Okay, and I guess the last question here is that... Uh, who do you actually think is the bad guy? Because in my perspective, I watch the shows. Wicked doesn't exactly seem that bad. I mean, they might be the flawed hero in the sense that they're so desperate. They're willing to save the world at all costs. So right. not quite bad, but in your, I mean, uh, well, I your perspective... There, there isn't really bad. a bad baddie as such, mm -hmm. which is what makes it interesting because, uh, uh, I mean, uh, are we doing the wrong thing? Are we kind of being bad because we know we have the cure within us and we are, we're, we're not choosing to, we're choosing to run away from it? Um, uh, or are the gangs that, are, that we bump into along the way, are they bad? But no, they are just trying to survive themselves. Everyone is just trying to survive. Um, and people go around it in, in different ways and that's just how different human beings react and that's what makes it kind of interesting and it makes it much more of a kind of moral dilemma on every character you meet. Uh, and there's a, there's a scene where we end up in a, well, Thomas's character ends up in a, in a, in a party and you know, the, I think you get a, a sense of what, you know, humanity in, the, in this, put into this situation would genuinely react in and you know, if, if you've got nothing else to live for then, you know, I think that party scene really kind of shows off what some people would do. And, mm. There is no, there is no bad character. I mean, Wicked is, maybe Wicked's good. They keep saying it is, yeah. but um, you know, I think they have good intentions, mm -hmm. but they just, you know, they go about things in a bit of a strange way that I don't think we as a group inherently feel is 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 good, is right, and that's all, that's all we're left with is 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 trust and knowledge within ourselves to judge what is the right thing to do. And we're, you know, we're constantly looking for that throughout the whole movie. And that's what part of the interesting thing. There's no, there's no bad guy chasing us, really. Mm. Yep, so I, I'm, for me, I thought it was just uh, about the nativ nativity, because yeah, it's a bunch of young kids and all that. Yeah. Okay, so yep, that's all the questions oh. that I have. Okay, thank yeah. you. Thank you for very much. All right. Okay, yeah. that's really thanks nice. again. Nice thank talking to you. Nice to talk to you too. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Oh, thanks. Hey,